Okay, so we're in a town, and there's actually something to do here. Impossible. Yeah. Apparently we're supposed to find something here. And I think it's in here. We're supposed to find things and do stuff. Yeah. Okay. Oh, good. And we're not finding anything. Go us. Oh, there it is. See, whenever it says four blocks down, I assume it means that, uh... It means, like four steps down, but it is four blocks down, which is three steps down. It's like, come on. Insane troll math. So how about that sport ball? No, we already did this. Oh, oh, guess what we get to do now? Guess what we get to do now? You'll never guess. You will never guess what we get to do now. Cocaine? <laughs> um, no... But has something to do with the game that we're currently playing. What do you think we have to do now? Fight a dragon? No. <laughs> Why do you think we'd have to fight a dragon in a game called Dragon Warrior? That's ridiculous. No, we have to grind for more gold. <laughs> Yay! Fuck me, this is like episode 6, and we've done a grand total of jack shit. <laughs> oh my god. How much longer are you good for doing this, Mike? Um, maybe for one more episode's worth. Okay. Well, I wasn't talking about just this game in particular, if you'd feel more energetic switching it up, but if you only have time for, for this episode to be done, then I can totally understand. Yeah, probably just to finish out this episode. Okay. I wanted to do this all night. No. No, I didn't. Right now, we're, our quest is to gain like 1,800 gold. So, did you see the foul that guy called on the home team? He's not very good at his job. <laughs> how long? How long are we gonna be on the sport? The sport fillers? Because I liked it better when we were doing the puns. Because that at least... Oh Jesus! Okay. I, I apparently did wrong in telling our viewer that I was doing uh, Ocarina of Time, and then we were not doing Ocarina of Time, so he's leaving. 
until the until we actually do Ocarina of Time, which will probably be sometime this weekend. I hope. We've disappointed the one viewer. <laughs> yeah, isn't that what we always do? He expected nothing and was still disappointed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, he had to have watched our previous recordings to know that we do this. So he has to know where the bar is set, and it's pretty low. I can't believe this is the in this is the game. Like this is what you do. Like if we attempted to move on, like there is a dragon that we could fight right now, but the thing would fucking obliterate us. No question about it. We would just get entirely butt fucked. In fairness, that's how a fight with a dragon should go in my opinion. Yeah. Well, you definitely get what you want out of this game cuz it's like you know, you gotta piddle around for a few hours, but then once you're ready to go, you're ready to go. You should not be able to walk out the front gate and take on a dragon. Yeah. We're looking at you, Skyrim. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. Can you take a dragon immediately, or does it take some time? Um, you probably can't take one on immediately. I mean, there's a reason that you have, like, an entire regiment of city guards with you on the first dragon you fight. Uh, are you talking about the opening intro, where you don't actually fight him, or is there is another, another event? I'm talking about the event, um, where you go to Whiterun, and then you join Iroleth and the city guard when they go out to look for signs of the dragon. And then you find the dragon, but you've got, like, eight other people with you. Yeah. I'm a complete waste. All better armed than you. I'm a complete waste of flesh in that I own the game, I own all the DLC, I've never played it. Uh. <laughs> hey, what am I what am I supposed to do? Since it came out, I become a reviewer. I can't play games I want to play. I have to play games for the fucking show. <laughs> It it is still kind of I I don't think you should be able to take on dragons quite as soon as you're able to at least not as easily as you're able to yeah but then the uh, it's either Dawn Guard or Dragonborn introduced the Elder Dragons and the Blood Dragons and they are ridiculously hard yeah Anal Rampage <laughs> Anal Thrasher sixty nine. Oh, Eternal Darkness? Why are you bringing up Eternal Darkness? To remind you, we're talking to the person in our chat. I did not just say Anal Rampage out of nowhere. <laughs> okay, I gotcha. I'm not... I'm not, Oh, Rapage. It's not Rampage, it was Rapage. But, uh... I like mine better, because I do think it's somewhat funnier. Yeah. I want to know where Eternal Darkness Eagle came from. Rampage. Now. Our viewer has to elaborate on why he brought up Eternal Darkness. You said games for the viewer. Yeah, Eternal Darkness came out. A lot of people liked my Eternal Darkness review, but then that was overshadowed by the Sonic 06 review. See, this, this right here, this right here, was the experience. <laughs> I mean... Are you guys at home having fun? Yeah. Are you? You are. Say you are. Say it. I don't know why I came over here quite yet. I'm just I'm just wandering around at this point cuz what else are you going to do? 
I mean, I've got magicians running away from me for fuck's sake. And Durgan Bulls just sort of wandered around for a bit, because he needed to golds. It's a good thing we're not trying to do a narrative with this, because it would be god-fucking-awful. It'd be like golf commentating. And he's running to another slime on the fairway. He's going for the Copper Sword here, though with this wind he might want to weapon up. Uh, I'm not using the Copper Sword anymore, actually. I've got a small hand axe. You got an axe now, right? Yeah. Yeah, and we're saving money for new armor, a half plate, I believe, and a shield, which we are not going to get enough gold for in this run. I can tell you that right now. Because it's like $800 for the shield, and fuck, and $1,000 for the armor. And here's a red Zubat. <laughs> Here's the swing. And it's piddly ineffective. Yeah. Good show, good show. Oh, now I just scored a critical. Yeah. <laughs> Golf claps. God damn it. I just gave that Magidraki the whole fist. In some circles, that's called the minivan. <laughs> Wait, what? There's the Spocker, the Rocker, the Showstopper, and then the minivan, which is just giving it the whole fist. Okay. Okay, so apparently, though our viewer... But it only works if you scream the minivan while you do it. <laughs> our viewer who said he was going to leave ten minutes ago is now leaving, even though he hasn't left yet. The Spocker was the first one I said. <laughs> I think Zilla might be dead. Somebody want to go check his house? I don't think any of us know where it is. <laughs> well, we have a we have we know what state it's in, so you know, we know what state and we just start at. I'll start at the east end of the state. You start at the west end. We'll find it eventually. Yeah, we'll just have to keep looking for check scour the phone books for a general Zilla. Oh my god. Oh, I forgot the Shocker, not the Spocker. Ah. Uh, you could never possibly forget the Spocker. Bye, viewer. Bye! So, Mike, how do you feel about your life choices now? <laughs> Oh, the same way I always feel. Driven to drink. <laughs> yeah, you were drinking when you were doing the uh, the metadata for these, weren't you? I was. Oh my god. I can't wait to go through them and have a look. I think I was about three or four stouts in. <laughs> I'm kind of excited to see what you came up with. I think during... I think in the description of the... Uh, Oh, what was it? Uh, why can't I remember the name of the game starring Pit? Kid Icarus. Kid Icarus. I think in, like, Kid Icarus, I was, like, pretending to have a breakdown at Nintendo and why it didn't want me to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> and then in one of them, you just have to, like, bare your soul. <laughs> 
and today Tim, Matt, and Mike play Ocarina of Time, and we go finally go through the Zora Domain. Listen, guys, gonna get real with you here for a second. I, uh, had a bit of a rough week. My dog died yesterday. And little pink eyes going around the house. Just the inevitability of death, you know. It's <laughs> oh my god! Always hanging over your head. How do you get away from that? Wow. Damn it, Tim, where do you use Z-targeting? <laughs> hey, I had an easier time with Z-targeting the last time we did it, and it can only get better from here. Or worse, you know. I've heard it both ways. It has to move in a direction. <laughs> Our viewer left, but we still have three viewers, as if uh, Matt just left the stream up. He very well could have. Yeah. There's actually a counter on live stream that tells me how many viewer minutes I've had. So the more people I have on actually kind of cheats that a little bit. Because everybody's got to watch the stream to be part of it. So I'm not entirely sure what that gauge is or why that's there. But I'm sure we'll find out. It appears that Zilla's stream is still running, even though he's not. catatonic. I don't even know. though he's not running. <laughs> he's going to pipe in eventually, like, what do you say to me? <laughs> what the fuck did you just say to me? He probably passed out. Despite the thrilling action in front of him. Geeks of the, Geeks of the Round Table live streaming. Now a patented sleep aid. <laughs> yeah. Fucking... Like, I can understand why this game is iconic. I really can. Because I really like it. It just is really slow. <laughs> like, that was a battle. It just happened and it was over. Because it's nice and fast whenever it comes to, like, battling. But everything else is like... It doesn't matter how fast it is when you do it 10,000 times. Yeah. Well, that kind of helps it, though. That kind of helps that you know you have to grind and you're going to have to do it a lot. So at least every time it happens, it happens quickly. Though it is annoying when the ghosts or the enemies just run away. It's like, oh shit, you're too strong. Why'd you attack me in the first place then? Yeah, it's like, that's how random encounters work. They kind of saunter up to you and you're like, shit, I have to kill this thing now. And you just flex at them and they run away. Depends on what you're flexing at them. And you're like, can you step? <laughs> Bro, do you even lift? I'm a slime. I don't have arms. Then how how do they attack you? Then they just kind of bump you. Oh. Should we go for the shield first or the armor? Let's let's go for the armor. Okay. Well, we'll see how much money we can get in the next few minutes. Because fortunately, this is uh, this is almost drawn to a close. Though honestly, let me check the store here. I don't think there's anything past what we're getting that we need to get. So we might actually be able to get into some gameplay next time. Let me check at the store. At the store. Things may actually happen. 
Hand act. Oh, there's a full plate here. Hopefully it doesn't, like, say, well, now you have to get the full plate before you can progress. Oh, son of a bitch. Even though I'm going to be honest with you, I think we have to go through a cave to get to another section of, of uh, game that has a thing called magic armor, which is hella expensive, and I think it's going to want us to get that. <laughs> Yeah, and unfortunately, I and I know, I know it's necessary. I know, I know what you think. No, I know, I know it's hella necessary though, because like I said, like once you get into the actual meat of this game, it's fucking hard. Which is kind of the worst part about it is if we didn't have to do this stuff, we wouldn't be doing it. But, you do. Shit gonna get real. Yeah, it is. Like, everything seems like a cakewalk now. But, yeah, remember the first time we encountered the magicians and they were mad hard. And then the first time we encountered a skeleton and it fucking killed us. Like, it just kind of, it, it slides up like that. Just like in real life. Yep. I don't know how many times I've had to fight Magidrakis in real life. It's always at the worst possible time, too. I know! Like, you're trying to make it to the bathroom. Like, you got a real good one brewing. Like, you haven't been able to go in a few days. Because, you know, you're a, you have a terrible diet. Let's face it. And, uh... And you're heading to the bathroom... And there it is, just right in front of you. And you're just like, shit. Listen, I just gotta... Uh... <laughs> and they don't they don't listen to reason. They just, they're just all half at the and excited. And it's just, no, I'm not into this right now. I just... <sighs> just give me, like, five minutes. Yeah, let me just, let me just top off. Let me just let out the... Let off the pressure a little bit, and then we'll, you know, I'll just man pawn it, and we'll, you know, we'll get to, we'll get on this, you know, we'll get this done. Stay away from the bathroom till I Febreze it as well. I mean, that's not going to be pleasant for anyone. Yeah, I mean, you just, if you don't give me enough time, then don't expect the right courtesies, you know? Don't expect courtesies if you just don't give me the time. I can only return courtesies if you give me the same courtesy. And then he casts Hurt, and it just pisses you off, and you end up shitting yourself and having to fight it and go home and change your pants. <sighs> well, you gotta rub its face in it first, otherwise it'll never learn. Well, I'm pretty sure, like, there's more of the idea that after you've killed it, you can't really rub, rub its face in it. Plus, you know, you just kind of... Well, if you can, the effect is just kind of lost. Yeah. but And it's also the problem where you're just embarrassed... You're covered in shit. It's always in public where this happens. They never, you know, they never come over. And when they do, it's always unannounced. Like, it's one of those things where... Bags. Yeah, you've just, like, you've just shit yourself in public. You've just committed a murder. It's just a bad time. I still don't understand, though. Like, a lot of these enemies just look so happy. But they are definitely attacking you and are definitely trying to kill you. Like, it's like Kirby logic. They're just overjoyed at the thought of murdering you. Yeah. Okay. We're just... We're just... We're just doing things here. Look at all these things being done. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I know... Listen, I really gotta say this, because eventually I'm probably gonna group these up into playlists. And I'm really glad that the Pokemon episodes are released in, 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 uh, 
in tandem with these because I would really feel bad if this was all people were getting. Like, not just... Oh my god, my headset just popped and scared the shit out of me. I think it's like a t trying to get away from my head. But like... <laughs> Anyway, back to what I'm just I'm just glad that the Pokemon releases go with these. So, cuz I know the Pokemon episodes are consistently good, and these are going to get better once we actually start doing things. And honestly, like this last episode after Matt left was kind of where the where it kind of went downhill cuz he was just talking about random stuff, and I'm hard pressed to think of things that aren't the game because I'm playing it. And uh But yeah, anybody who could watch through this playlist and watch like the six episodes of this that we've done so far of getting nowhere in the game. I applaud you. I really do. How about you, Mike? What do you have to say about the viewer that is has gotten this far with us in this playthrough? They win 10,000 internet points. <laughs> Which we have no authority to hand out, so they're probably counterfeit. Well, just be discreet when you spend them. Okay. Try to make bigger purchases so you gotta get a lot of legitimate change back. <laughs> are are we teaching people how to how to intermix counterfeit currency with? Uh... We we should, probably shouldn't do that. No, we're telling people some uh, some dominant business strategies. Oh. What you gotta do is, you gotta take all the points. <laughs> oh shit! Okay, this voice is overused. Uh, it's just it's just not really appropriate for this because it's not. We we slipped it into Ocarina once, didn't we? Or what game was it that we slipped that into? Then what game haven't we put it in? I I know we use it predominantly in Pokemon, and I know it's slipped its slipped its slithery way into another series that we do. I just can't remember which one. Well, we do it in Pokemon because Team Rocket's supposed to be kind of Italian Mafia-esque. Yeah. I mean, they're run by a guy named Giovanni, for fuck's sake. Run by a guy named Giovanni, and he ain't making pizza. Mmm, <laughs> pizza. That sounds good. Sounds really good, guys. But we still got to make a hundred gold. I just ate pizza, and pizza still sounds amazing. Yeah. Because pizza always sounds amazing. You're damn right. I actually have pizza waiting for me for when this is over. Though, unfortunately, it was finished cooking about when we started. So, I... I get I get the best So, it, it was lunch? No. Um... It's like 7.30. Oh, that's right. Uh... No, you guys didn't start recording until like three, did you? No, we started recording. Well, three my time, I guess. Uh, actually, I think we started recording at four your time. When you were there, and then you disappeared. We waited like twenty minutes. I had to go to the post office. Yeah, yeah, you did. Uh, you did explain that. We were just sitting there, like pick up my rations for the week. Yeah. We were just there like, what what just happened? <laughs> Mike came and he vanished. Yes. That's... <laughs> Out of context, if you're just joining us, apparently, uh... <laughs> it's exactly what you think it is. <laughs> you know, I was listening to... I was listening to a Ninja Sex Party song earlier, and I don't know if it's appropriate, but it's, uh... Jesus Christ! So wait, I hit him and then he runs away, instead of just running away. Way to waste my time. But anyway, I was listening to a Ninja Sex Party song called Three Minutes of Ecstasy. And, uh... I think one of my favorite parts of that song is like... Um... I'll always be here for you. Oh shit, look at the time. And then it shows Danny Sexbang trying to get dressed and saying like... I have to go to the pudding store for, uh, for pudding. Try that in real life. Guaranteed to work 100% of the time. <laughs> I 
Okay, so we're actually we're actually going to achieve this. This is actually going to happen. We're going to get that suit of armor. And I really can't tell you what's supposed to happen after. Fortunately, the the tablet that I display the walkthroughs on is is dying right now. But we're not going to get 800 gold for the shield before this is over, so we got plenty of time for me to charge Ain't that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah. That just tells you cuz like we've been we've been gearing up for the last 2 hours a little yeah. bit over a little bit over 2 hours we've bought two different weapons a shield and a suit of armor and now we're going to buy another suit of armor <laughs> and then later before we continue we got to buy another shield so in order to progress in the game, you first have to gear up to actually fight the enemies outside. And after you've geared up to fight them, you have to gear up more to actually play the game. Brilliant. <laughs> Video games! Yeah. And the great part is, the armor we're getting... Still isn't the best. Still isn't the best armor by a long shot. So who knows where that's going to take us? And now I'm not getting very many encounters because I'm almost at the goal. Great. It's going to take us to the point of absolute rage. I don't know. I'm still feeling pretty chill about this, despite you know it taking forever. It's just it. It's a very very calming experience. Because, you know, you see this battle happening in front of you, and I'm just holding down the button. It's just going. Like, so long as I don't have to heal or cast a spell or anything, I just hold down the button and let it go. And it, it goes. And I win. Like that dildo butt right there. He's gone, and we have enough money. Son of a bitch. Huzzah! But of course, we get attacked right in front of the fucking town. Okay. And half plate. Yes. Okay, now theoretically, we can survive the trek back to the castle to save. Theoretically. My god, man. That's insane. <laughs> Are you mad? So, this episode might end up being a long one. So you say we're heading back? Yes. Yeah, we gotta get back to the castle to save. Because that's the only place you can save in this fucking game, is at the castle. And of course now I'm getting attacked every two seconds. Even though I was trying to get attacked more often, and it just wasn't fucking happening. Now that I want to get back to the castle so that we can recover our magic and save, I'm getting attacked constantly. Yeah, it's like when you're trying to get anywhere in Pokemon versus when you're trying to level up. Yeah. I just need to get to Viridian. Another Pidgey. Okay, fine. <laughs> Son of a bitch! It was in, and I think it was in my Diamond game. Um, my Pokemon who knew Fly was not a member of my main party. Right. So I would get to the uh, Pokemon League, switch him out with someone else, and then beat the league. The problem was I would then have to walk to the next town because it always deposits you back at your house. I'd have to walk to the next town to get my flying Pokemon back, and I'd have like I'd have a level ninety Infernape and a level three uh, Bidoof shows up. 
Because <laughs> it's going to step. Yeah. It thinks it's it thinks it's got what it takes. Oh, son of a bitch! I do love in I do love in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. You know how you can have one Pokemon following behind you. Yeah. I can just casually having a legendary God Pokemon of the sea following behind me, and no one comments on it. <laughs> oh my God! This is really happening. you have a creature of ancient myth on your side? Well, I've got three Weedles. <laughs> Which are all at levels that they should have evolved by now. But I didn't. Because Pokemon training is about loving your, your Pokemon, and, and that'll get us the victory. Bull it won't. Bullshit. Oh, wow, Zilla's gone. Yeah, he left uh, a few minutes ago. Oh, did he say he was leaving, or did he just leave? Like, did he put it anywhere? Oh, yeah, just... I think he just got off the Ventrilo. Oh. I feel like we have this conversation a lot. <laughs> People just kind of show up and leave. Yeah. Especially in this case. Jesus, we're like 10 minutes over on this one. Christ. Well, for those of you who've stuck it out this long, thank you very much. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I guess we're just going to release like a 40-minute episode. I don't want to do that, but we can do that. Did I go into the right place? Yeah. Mm. No, I didn't. I left the right place to come here. So we can go save. And end this torment. So yes, we hope you enjoyed today's supersized episode. <laughs> and... No. Would you like to talk to the stairs? Go up to the stairs? Check the status of the stairs? Yeah. Take the stairs? Okay. There we go. We have... We have endured more pain. <laughs> All for you. Yes. Alright, well, I guess, uh... I guess that's all for today. Um... I, I don't really know what to say on a sigh-off other than uh, persevere. <laughs> As you already have in this live stream, do so in life. Next time on Durgan Bulls, <laughs> things happen. God, I hope so.